Thanks every, uh, very much for having me here and thank you for the warm welcome. Unfortunately, I don't understand much French. Uh, I know German fromage, but that's, that's all. <laughs> uh, so thank you, the Minister, and thank you, Nick, and the uh, City of Brussels uh, region uh, for having me over. It's uh, fantastic to be here. Um, I'm here to welcome the Brussels region to our collaborative pl platform called the C100. And this, the Element Club Foundation is, works in uh, two parallel channels. First of all, we see the opportunity, we assess what is the opportunity of transitioning towards a circular economy in a certain market or in a certain uh, material stream. And then we mobilize stakeholders from across the board to start working on it together. And what do I mean by that? <laughs> so, first of all, uh, when often when we think about waste, we just think about things that are happening uh, we find in our garbage cans. But actually, most of the waste in our systems today is embedded waste. It's one that we don't even think about as waste sometimes. Uh, if we look at key urban functions, such as mobility, built environment, our food systems, they're full of waste. Uh, and this is, it means that the way that we currently operate them is resulting in great inefficiency and is not suited for, pur for purpose. We just take uh, an example of the mobility system. 92% of the time, our cars are parked in our parking lots. Meanwhile, we spend billions building new roads, buying new cars, parking lots, congestion, pollution, whatnot. All we need from our mobility systems is just to help us to get easy, safely, and cheaply from one point in the city to the other. So why do we keep wasting money and resources in a way that is not helping us to address the, the right way, to address mobility in the right way. So that's why we think once we identify this is the opportunity, we can save millions and millions and probably billions of euros on mobility systems in the city, and this is just one example. And we then bring together the right actors that can help us do that. And if we think about how to address that, we cannot just say we are a city, we have certain regulation uh, opportunities that we can do, let's regulate our way out of it. Well, it's not really work like that. You have to work together with producers, you have to engage the operators, you have to engage the public, the users, and work together in solutions, on solutions that are making sense for the city and for the region that you're operating in address some of this uh, major uh, major uh, waste in our system and design one that is maintaining the materials at the highest value at all times, serve the purpose of the of the system and helps us to decouple this effective, effective systems away from material intensity and the environmental degradation that is currently happening. So what we do is we bring together governments, cities, big and small businesses, innovators, and pioneering universities. And we help them to learn together, to build the capacity on what is a circular economy, how does it apply for us. Then they have the opportunity to share in between them what are the challenges that we have, what are the opportunities, where are the links for collaboration, and then really work on these collaborations try it on the ground, because until we get our hands dirty and we manage to bring together the right approaches that is a super purpose in the context of where they operate, that is not going to become reality. And cities are absolutely great uh, hotbed for this kind of experimentation and implementation. Um, as you can see, we have here some of the cities and the organizations we work with globally. And some of the most interesting things they do are around the cities. And so we work closely with the city of Toronto, which is now, for example, a, a published their public procurement, sort of public procurement document that is looking into how to change public procurement requirements in order to uh, be able to contract vendors on a survey economy basis. Now, they cannot do it by themselves because they need to understand which requirements their vendors need in order to create and develop survey economy services and products. So that's where we come in and we facilitate this dialogue. Another city that we work with very closely is uh, 
the city of London is probably one of the most um, prominent partners of the al Masada Foundation. And together with the city of London, we uh, shaped the circular economy strategy. And now we are helping to bring them the bigger companies, such as IKEA, Max, and Unilever, to collaborate with their innovator, innovators community and develop city-based solutions for some of the bigger challenges that this, uh, these companies are experiencing. Just for example, with IKEA, IKEA is looking into start leasing their products. But you need to start having some pilot regions where you can try it out, learn, and then scale up. If the City of London actually also is now doing a building a circle neighborhood, which uh, has started as a vision exercise within the foundation and some of our uh, construction and architecture companies. How do we build a circle economy neighborhood? Well, after visualizing a bit back in France, the city actually decided to dedicate some lots in southwest of London. And many of these companies gather around, and now they're trying to build a circular economy neighborhood. And they also managed, the, the Circle London also managed to refurbish their entire offices based on circular economy principles using the <coughs> ecosystem of the businesses of the C100, using leasing, refurbishing, and maintaining, and so on. Uh, and then one last project that we have just started now with Catalonia and a couple of the bigger um, logistics and uh, chemical companies is to try to reach out to consumers through retail and, and enable them to separate organic waste and then the city is collecting this organic waste, composting it, and it's been used again by, um, by the local producers in the city. These are just a couple of examples of how, by partnering up cities, regions, governments, businesses, and innovators, you can create a local circular economy that creates new revenue streams, new jobs in the city, and enables innovation. These are. Well, maybe some of my uh, slides got a bit lost in the, on the way, but. If you think, uh, see this uh, ecosystem of the businesses and the uh, institutions that work with the Alamazada Foundation, you'll spot at least 15, uh, uh, 15 uh, of them are present here in Brussels. And I think that really opens up a great opportunity for creating a, a local, um, local collaboration across different sectors, either in statistics or built environment, textiles, uh, and it also really helps us to build on what you've been doing for so long and what's been mentioned earlier today by Avdin and the Minister. Uh, it really brings together the innovation, innovative community that is creating and builds capacity over the years uh, through your strategy. There is a very vibrant community already here of people that are ready to do things, that are excited and have experience of doing, of doing a sort of economy. And we can connect these small grassroots and small medium businesses to the bigger businesses through our ecosystem. And that's why we're so excited to welcome Brussels on board of the C100. We think that it's a big, small city, and that it's big enough to have big presence of businesses and academia and innovators, but it's small enough that it, you can really try out things and scale them up. And if you compare it to a city like London, that has 12 million people, it takes a long time to change things. Well, when you have a million, million and a half people, things can really transition fast. So we're really excited to, to bring uh, uh, Brussels on board, and we also really looking forward to build on a lot of the work that's been done already. We already started collaborations with uh, our research team to bring more uh, of your experience on board on our research on survey economy in cities. We also collaborate with um, food, the food strategy, so my mind, but a good food, good food team that is part of the region, and we are aligning how the survey economy principles can help meet the priority of the city to reduce food waste, to create, to valorize local material streams, and to enable better and healthier food production in the city. And tomorrow I'm going to be having a workshop with uh, the uh, 
the local uh, authorities here and I'm looking forward to see which are the projects coming up and what can we do together with the region and with the ecosystem of the Almavada Foundation in the coming years in implementing big projects uh, here. So thank you very much for having me and looking forward to talking to you all.